have five different senses. We can feel heat, pain, cold, contact through touching. We can hear in ranges between 20 and 20,000 Hertz. We can see more than 3 million colors and their tones. And we also, every time we eat, we taste salty, sweet, sour, bitter and umami flavors. Finally, there's our sense of smell, which is not only important for us to be able to enjoy the smell of flower, but it's also essential in developing taste, as well as memories and emotions. So how many different odors do you think people can detect? I know it's a kind of a tricky question, because really, for starters, what is smell? We, we say that, say, a cake has a smell of vanilla or a perfume smell of roses, but the smell of rose itself contains more than 275 different odors in it. Previous theoretical estimates have suggested that humans can detect 10,000 different odors. However, a recent study has challenged this number and changed it into one trillion. So how do you even begin measuring how many different odors people can detect? Well, for starters, you need to simplify the system. So scientists, rather than using hundreds of different odors, have picked up 126 of them and made mixtures of 30 of them in the flask. Participants in the study were provided with three flasks with these mixtures in them. Two of the flasks had exactly the same mixtures, whereas one had a slightly different combinations of odors in it. Scientists then asked by how much do mixtures have to differ in order for the participants to still be able to distinguish them. With this method, the scientists found that the mixtures have to differ by at least 51.17% for a person to still be able to identify the outlier. With this number at hand, and knowing how many different mixtures of 30 you can make from 126 different odors, scientists then use mathematics to calculate how many different odors in total humans should be able to distinguish. And the answer is 1 trillion. This is a huge number, it's 100 million times greater than the previous estimate. Moreover, it's only the lower limit, because in nature clearly greater number of odors as well as mixtures exist than we can recreate in the lab. Considering these results, we should clearly be more reliant on our sense of smell. On the other hand, just consider how many different odors animals, such as dogs, can detect. We essentially employ dogs to detect different substances or find people, which suggests that they probably have even better sense of smell than we do. Finally, there are at least 400 olfactory receptors in our noses. Every time an odor binds a receptor, a signal is triggered and sent to the brain where the sense of smell is processed. The regions where the sense of smell is processed are closely linked to the same regions where memories and emotions are created. Therefore, every time we smell, it's not only about the smell itself, but also about the experience. Thank you for listening.